Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. Good pig. Hey guys. Good pig. What? Good pig. GDPG. Good pig. Good pig. Oh good. So uh, yeah, we're back in the second to last level. <laughs> I don't know Doing what to the normal do. geek areas things. I don't know what to do. I don't think that's the right way. I don't think it's the right way either. But I just don't know where the fuck to go. Maybe I can't go, go, there. go through that portal again. But I was just there. Maybe it's too soon. I guess. I don't know, man. Maybe you need a double jump. Get on that. Stop saying this is a double jump, right? You're getting my hopes up. There might be. I don't remember. I feel like there should be a way up there, and this fat robot block should tell me how to do it. Or, or I can just keep going, like... Well, see, the thing is, too, if there's a double jump, then it makes all of the earlier levels way, oh, way yeah, easier. Way easier. But, and that, oh, you know, I'll just go that way. I think there is a level, though, where there is an upgrade hidden in the level. Oh, yeah? I don't know which level it is, but I know it's a thing. The upgrades are very far and few between. Also, those gems were very misleading. Those were. Unless you made a really bad jump, but even then, that I feel like you followed that arch pretty well. And I just go the wrong way. Whatever, that's fine. I'm a moron. So if that was intentionally misleading, why? Then that's not cool. Why? That's that's number oh, one. The thing that I, I hate I hate the most about Mario Maker levels right now. Or oh, are the misleading? The ones that trick the player. I don't think that's cool. Unless you build an entire level or game based on that idea. I'm gonna have to jump back. It's not so bad. I think it's going forward. Or yeah, uh, no. to layer one. We I gotta get we better by using these have terms. We to like find it better. And this is the slow block. Hey man, these blocks have all been. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're gonna yeah. jump up on there. I like this big like slate robot in the background just like yeah i mean I'm what does what hit him by them all oh, right it's like oh yeah i lost that in the uh apocalypse all right is that in the very front there can i not reach that uh one way to find out do it oh i'll just come back that's right yeah there you go look at that i get another one. Oh, dang look at all them pretty gems look at all pretty gems. i don't want to jump down there so okay here's here's another question for you <laughs> damn it you botched it I, wow i really botched it i think you can make it onto that platform behind you though the gra the grass so yeah there you go all right that one so okay here's a question for you okay we, we actually haven't played too many games on this show that are, are collection game design focused. Like Banjo-Kazooie, right? Where it's all oh, like collecting, yeah, collecting like stuff. the music notes and the, jig, the jiggies. Um, and the jiggies. This poncho considerably is one of those games. It's yeah, obviously, it definitely it, is. Right? Like, I don't think it's... It's certainly not oh, a requirement yeah. to beat the game Which I think completely. is good that it's not. Right. I, I bet you there is some interesting stuff. Really? If you you're probably back it. here? Yeah, that is interesting. Oh, okay, that time I deserved it. <laughs> um, so, with that said, do you think that Poncho benefits from being a kind of collect em all kind of game? You know, I think so. I think it, it makes for a level of re replayability. Um, it certainly gives you a lot more reason to go back and forth. Exactly, and that's what I was thinking. At <laughs> oh my god. Maybe this will be a 12 episode. Or... Yeah, uh, yeah. We were joking off camera. Tony was like, I think this is going to be at least 12 episodes. And I was like, no, yeah, if you do okay, we could do like 10. Yeah, but I've yeah. been kind of failing a little bit here. I failed the city. <laughs> Terrible. So you, you, do, you do think that Pancho benefits from that style? I, do, I, I, I think because otherwise I don't know if there'd be a level of replayability. So I don't know if in the end that makes it a gimmick. Um, and I think the levels would lose a lot of depth if it didn't have that yes. too. And I feel like there's such an interesting story with helping the Junkyard King. I love that. I think that's one of the best things that this game has. And it's so little too, right? Like Speaking of which... Yeah... I don't remember how many you need for each upgrade. It, maybe it's each like... Key. <laughs> yeah, each each reward. It might be... Okay. Four? I am a little... Do I just have to jump into the... Do it. There? Do it. It'd be funny if you, like, changed the scene. 
I just don't know where to go. Is there anything even over there? Oh, maybe I can... Is yeah. there a layer in front of you? A... Are, are you on two or are you on one right now? Okay, you're on. Oh, there you go. Oh, can I get that one? I think so. Yeah, I can. Damn. There's another one behind yeah, right two there, yeah. and three, yeah. So, okay, here's... This is just... Hey, look at that. Look at that nice wall. Yeah, I think the transparency doesn't always work so well. Do we get everything that's supposed to be over here? Yeah, I oh, think no, we did not. Oh, there is that. And there's also that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then here's the other thing. Ooh, another robot. Do you think robot that days. they could have done the collect them all style design better? Or do you think it could have been oh, more present? I'm alive, sort of. I shall return. Oh my. <laughs> like, that was weird. Oh my. So I'm sorry, Chris, can you re restate that question, please? <laughs> So do you think that the um, the collect them all style could have style of design could have been done better, um, or been more present in this game? Hmm. You know, I think with an indie game like this, I feel like they've done just enough. I feel like they had too many collectibles. It becomes a game that isn't like that. It's becoming too many things. Yeah, I think if they added it in more objects to collect, it would be way way too much. Because I feel like if you're, like, um, a big game, right? You have a... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I've seen a lot of games, though, where the collect -em all style is part of the design, and there's so much to collect that it, it kind of just, like... I like it, it feels arbitrary. You just yeah. feel like now you're playing a game where you just have to collect everything. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it almost... Like, I think there's a threshold where it just, like, stops being fun. Like, it's not about collecting anymore. It starts being more about, like, I don't know, a burden to collect everything, you know? Yeah, right. Okay, so I want to get some shit. I think they hit that threshold nicely in this one. Though. Yes, I feel like they've done just enough to, like, tease you to be like, hey, fuck. That's okay. That kind of worked out. Except for that. Oh. Yeah. There you go. That's okay, it's still not a big deal. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, here... I think there are some levels where there does kind of seem to be, like, a preposterous amount of... Oh, oh, oh nice. you literally could just drop there. That was a... That was a lucky find. Yeah, there wasn't really much indication that that was gonna work. Yeah. Maybe there was a better way of doing it, but... Eh. Whatever, I mean, that's just splitting hairs right now. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> So I think you're oh, going to have to... I'm going to go back. I think you're going to have to go to layer three, so you're going to have to ride that one back. I don't know why. And you could probably just jump and get to it now. Well, but not like that. got to jump and yeah, move I to move, the left. You know. And then... Chris, you're playing these semantical games with me. I'm just being honest. Yeah, you? well, fuck honesty. Boom jams. Okay, boom jams indeed. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, there you go. Oh, I see. And now you can just, like, stick Hold in on. the middle if you want to get those gems. Okay. I can't see... The fuck? Yeah, I'm almost gonna say screw these gems. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about them. Is that gonna come back and blow me up, though? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, no. No. Ah. Why, yes, I would like to buy some God, that's just so weird. He's like, mm -hmm. I think they knew that they were making yeah, right. it creepy. So what do we need? We can do blue or green. Well, let's get that 25 blue. blue one, yeah. And, um... Is there a cheaper green there's, there's one? There's a 35 green. Yeah, let's get that. And that's Sweet. all we can buy. Now I got three of everything. Look at us being symmetrical and shit. Right? You get that gem too. Yeah, I can. Oh, I think that's the end of the level too. Oh, there's a key up there. Ugh. Ooh. Do we need the key? I don't think so. Should I blow this key or no? Uh, yeah, let's see what's over there. I'm actually curious. There might be an upgrade in this level. I really am having a hard time remembering because it's been a while since I've played Poncho. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, so we've got something. Whoa. 
Well, I think this is all yeah. we have for the episode. Yeah, this, yeah, that's this one. <laughs> this is a weird one. I don't know how to can tell. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got this. Uh, question of the day. Question of the day. So, what upgrades do you think that um, Pancho could have that would enhance the gameplay without breaking it? Uh, I know would, we've I know we've talked a lot about would, double would jumping. Would double jump break it? Yeah. And, but, like, even even aside from double jump, like, what other upgrades do you think they could have in the game that would only enhance the experience? Mm-hmm. And hopefully make Gigarius less stressed out. You know, out. I don't know. That's hard. I feel like double jump is just so important to the idea of this game. What do you want me to do? Oh, I remember this. I had some some a hard time figuring right. this one out. All right. Maybe we'll figure this out one hour. Maybe we'll just continue on the next level. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah, bye, guys. Stupid. One circle. One way. That's all I fucking do.